We hope you guys are doing well. So today we're going to talk about apartment hunting in London. It can be a very stressful experience, but I thought I can show you my story and how I secure my new place in London. And I've been wanting to do this apartment hunting video for two months already, but it's just so stressful and also it's like too much going on. I can't really find time. But finally, we secure a new place, we moved in, we settled down, we unpacked everything. So I just feel like now is the perfect timing to do this and share my experience with you guys. And if you guys are interested about apartment hunting, London lifestyle, etc., please subscribe my channel. Before showing you around, let me talk you through about the reason and also criteria and our budget and all the little details before we dive in. Why do we need to move? Basically, I used to live with two other flatmates. So we have a three bedroom flat in North London. And we recently moved out is because two of my flatmates, they actually got to move away from the country. They got to move somewhere else. So that's why I can't really afford renting a three bedroom flat by myself and my dog. That's why we have to move. So the second reason is I've been staying in North London since 2017, I would say, or 2016, it's been years. And I feel like I need to change the area, the change of environment. I need to feel inspired. So I just really wanted to move to West London or any, anywhere, just somewhere else, not even North London. And in terms of areas. So to be honest with you, I really want to move to West London because I just love the atmosphere in West London. It's very English and there's loads of like nice cafe, nice places to shop or park that I can walk my dog Bregman. Just so much to do and also I've never lived in West London so I really want to just move over there and kind of get that sort of experience from that area. And for a specific area when I do my search, I actually put in St. John's Wood, Maidenville, Notting Hill, and also some areas in central London as well. Um, I've got Farringdon, Paddington, Waterloo, Barbican, Malibu. These are the areas that I love to kind of like walk around, hanging out with my friends. So it would be lovely if I can live there as well. So yeah, and um, I would say a lot more, but these are the main areas that I was actively searching for. So for budget, I don't have a high budget because I'm still in my 20s and I don't want to pay my rents like paycheck after paycheck. So I try to minimize my rent because that is my regular expense. And my budget is 1200 to 1500 a month. However, because of the crazy housing market right now, I had to actually increase my budget to 1600 to 1900 When I do my search in like the right move or Supla, I have to put 2000 as my budget so I can make sure I can see better housing, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's talk about transportation. I am really particular about this. Okay, for my previous flat, we literally live 30 seconds away from the tube station and that is literally the best location I've ever lived in my life. I basically well connected next to the tube station. That's what I want. So let's talk about something nice to have. Okay, first of all, I need large windows. I want big windows because you guys know I do YouTube sometimes and living in England is it's always quite gloomy, miserable, rainy. So having a big window that you can enjoy a bit of sunlight is important to me. Second, it is unfinished because we really want to create our new space. So that's why you can see like vintage furniture, vintage mid-century landing here. If that is like fully furnished, we wouldn't be able to do this. And we want high ceiling. 
so it looks a bit more spacious oh yes nice to have third you have like paneling on the wall so i will just put a picture here to tell you what is paneling on the wall so it's basically some wooden frame and you put it on the wall kind of like special finishing that you see in like european housing we also want wooden floors and last but not least storage Welcome to the first apartment. This is located in Maidenville and the asking price is 1580 a month. The long big window actually gave me a wow event when I first came into the apartment, but everything is really old. The kitchen, the living room, the bathroom, and even the bedroom is too small, so we didn't really put in that over. But I have to say, Made of That is a really lovely location. It reminds me of the movie called About Time. And welcome to the second apartment. It is located in Wimberley Park in Stone Ford. Asking price is $1450. Um, it's fully furnished. There's a little balcony that you can walk out and open kitchen. Really modern, I love it. The facilities in this building is insane. They have barbecue, ball games, or even like gym and cinema study area. But the only thing is, it's too far from where my work is. And considering this is in Songfor with the asking price, I just feel it's not worth it. So I did not send out any offer at the end. Welcome to apartment 3. This property is 25 minutes away with a bus ride away from Hammersmith station. It, you guys, this flat is a dream. Victorian building, fireplace, big window, high ceiling, paneling on the wall, just everything that I want in my flat. But again, I feel like it's not really well connected. I don't want to travel from Central to Hammersmith and then get another 25 minutes bus ride to get home is too much. That being said, for apartment 4, I decided to see something in the heart of London in Soho. This flat is amazing, I love it so much, transportation, everything is amazing and I can literally walk to work and it's pet friendly. My blood and my heart was so plumb after the viewing. I almost sent out my offer form, however the landlord is looking for someone who can rent it for 2 years, so no luck for me. Welcome to apartment 5. It is located in Caledonian Road. The location is wonderful, 2 minutes away from the station and it's fully furnished. The downside is the bathroom. It's really tiny, it feels like a student accommodation for some reason, like I feel like I'm back in uni days. I also feel like it's a bit odd with like the furniture and everything so I didn't really think about it. Welcome to apartment 6. So it is located in Waltham Stove which is the final stop of the Victoria line. Asking price is 1150 It's unfurnished. The reason I came here is because of the rent. It's so much lower compared to the rental market back in summer. The rent was insane back in summer. There were a few things that doesn't seem really right to me and the landlord refused to fix it so I didn't really send out my offer. It is the apartment 7. I didn't go to this viewing. Hank actually went there. The only odd thing to me is the bedroom. You have to walk downstairs and the floor plan is just weird so nah. And apartment 8, Hank actually went to Hayes in song 5. This is a brand new building, fully furnished, the landlord is so kind. We actually quite like it and try to kind of negotiate the rent just because this is some 5 but the landlord said no so no luck. Anyways, I have to say this is a really stunning property. We love the high ceiling, the lighting and also the, some of the furniture as well. It will be a very cozy home if we can live in there. Here's a quick look for the bathroom, very very big. This is the hallway and now we're entering the bathroom. Imagine I can film like get ready with me there. That would be so cool. 
and welcome to the apartment line. It is in Holloway Road, asking price for fifteen hundred mins, and love the fireplace. It is furnished. This flat is ten minutes away by walk from the station, and there's a big Waitrose, big supermarket, and Argos for like five minutes away. So it's pretty good actually. We actually put in offer, but someone put like sixteen hundred a month as an offer, so no luck again. Is the final apartment ten and located in Greenwich, seven hundred a month. It is the smallest flat that we have ever seen. You can't really fit in any dining table for four people or any like extra furniture. And considering I have a dog who has high energy, we need the biggest space for him. Okay, so now we're going to talk about how did we do it. And oh, I have a little gentleman joining me for this video. It's nice to have you here. Yeah, it's nice to have you here. Okay, so let's talk about offers. How many offers we placed in this apartment hunting process in London? So we actually placed three offers. The first one is a one-bedroom property in Crouch End, and the asking price is. A thousand four hundred fifty a month, and we actually offer the same price as well because we talked to the agent, and somehow he said that you don't have to pay more; it should be all right. So we just listened to him, and then we place our order with a thousand four hundred fifty. Someone offered an even more, so we couldn't secure the place. But we learned something, which is if there's a place that you really love, then in this wild. Housing market right now just over a bit more, maybe a hundred, one hundred fifty, depends on your budget. But that's my advice. I think the Crown Gem property it is really beautiful,、um, high ceiling, big windows, and we also love the Crown Gem area. It's very brunchy that we can have brunch in the weekends, and the neighborhood is just so nice. You can walk around. There's a park, and it just loads of like am amenities. That you can literally stay in the area and not going to central. I also really love the、um, the kitchen because I really love to cook,、uh, as well as my partner. We both love to cook, so having a nice kitchen and gym a bonus.、Um, we love it. Let's talk about the second apartment that we place an offer. So that is a one bedroom flat in Forest Hill. If you know Forest Hill, is A bit further away from central London, I think it would take you about like forty-five to forty minutes to get to central London. But that apartment is stunning, newly furnished, pet friendly, wooden flooring, big window, nice sunlight, nice lighting. It just exactly what we needed.、Um, once we walk in, we're like. Also spoke to Asian. He also told me like just pay a bit more if you want. The asking price is the same as the Crown Gen one. It's forty hundred fifty, and we ended up over fifteen hundred fifty a month. So that is a hundred pounds more. And at the end, I think someone placed an offer was like sixteen hundred. So we couldn't get it basically.、Uh, yeah. But another note: don't trust your agent. Like, if you really like it, you want it enough, pay the amount of money that you want to pay. But I feel like the only downside about the Forest Hill property is it's quite far away from everything. It's far away from central London, and also it's a really residential area. If you want to go to Sainsbury, which is a supermarket, you have to walk around ten to thirteen minutes. So I just feel like it's too far.、Um, if you walk to Tube Station, it might take you another ten minutes. So yeah, I mean like it's a nice home, but transportation is a downside. So let's talk about the final properties, which is the current home that I'm living in. This is the final offer, and this place it feels right to me. So. It's a one-bedroom flat in North London area. I'm not going to disclose where it is because this is where I live right now. And it's a one-bedroom flat with a flooring.、Uh, window is okay. It's not too big, but it's just what we need.、Um, the moment that I 
feel right about this property is when I see the storage. Once you walk into the um, hallway, once you enter the property, on the right hand side, there are so many storage. I can fit in everything basically and I don't need any like, extra furniture or a storage furniture like another wardrobe or another shelf or anything I can just fit in anything that's amazing and for shoe rack, we can fit in the shoe rack and put in everything storage is so important and then once you walk in you after passing all those storage that's the bathroom oh my god the bathroom there's so much storage as well I don't have to put the cleaning pot or anything on the floor anymore I can just fit them in to the storage in the bathroom the lighting is good as well and when I do my makeup or anything I can just like stay in because I spend so much time in my bathroom and then for the bedroom as I doubled up the size where I used to live so I just got so much space and I'm still working on kind of like decorating my bathroom but it's an ongoing process so if that is done I will share with you guys the living room so it's spacious it's beautiful I'm just so happy about this property and the kitchen as well so much space I love it and we can also it's unfurnished as well so we can be creative and just to decorate the space to whatever we wanted to it's just amazing such a blast it's a blessing to stay here and I'm so happy and also this property is pet friendly as you can see this little guy is just chilling right next to me having a nap the asking price exactly the same as the asking price and the landlord accepted and we just moved in and also uh, for the wall uh, it used to be like uh, baby blue but it's like really ugly <laughs> baby blue so we all sent it all away with some paper and then we now apply the new color which is kind of a beige cream color and we love it it just fit our aesthetic okay so that's pretty much it for today's video about my journey of finding a nice property new home in london i hope you guys somehow find it useful or enjoy watching it and if you're currently looking for a new place in london I wish you good luck, keep trying. I'm sure you will be fine. You'll be able to find a really lovely home in London. If you guys enjoy watching today's video, please give me a like, subscribe, and a comment. That would be so, so, so good. And that would be you motivate me to create more videos for you guys. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.